again. Let's turn now to Steve Rogers, retired lieutenant detective for the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department. Steve, as a uh, former member uh, of law enforcement, I imagine you are pretty disturbed by what you're seeing on the streets of America tonight. Yes, Rick, very disturbed. And, and there's a couple of things to keep in mind when we put things in perspective. What triggered the uh, protesters? Well, what triggered the protesters was this horrific, horrific uh, uh, killing of this young man. He didn't deserve to die that way. Universally, uh, no matter what color, creed, race, etc., people in general agree that these officers need to be prosecuted and put in jail. But what triggered the nationwide rioters? There's a big difference between rioters and protesters. I believe what triggered that was the failure of the Minneapolis police officials, not the cops. The cops are obeying their orders. But the political leadership in that city gave us all a signal last night by causing the officers to stand on, by retreating, retreating, and retreating. And, Rick, you had it on Fox tonight. They even got out there and proclaimed a curfew. It was going to be enforced. If you're not off the streets, we're going to arrest you. Guess who retreated? The police and the National Guard. So that kind of emboldens uh, uh, people who want to cause mischief all over the country to do what they're yeah. doing. And as a result, this is what we have. And, and as we've seen so many times, Steve, many of the demonstrators are outsiders. Many of them come in to these cities precisely to carry out mayhem. They see it as an opportunity. And I would imagine that in this pand time of pandemic, that people who've been cooped up at home all this time are eager to get out and, in this case, uh, do the wrong thing. Well, you're absolutely right. And, and it's sad because the, uh, the Floyd family, from what I understand, they, they publicly said they don't want any of this. This You don't pay tribute and, and, and remember, remembrance of a young man who died that way. And, and, and guess who's being victimized? Right? The people who live in those neighborhoods want peace. They're small yeah. businesses. They destroy the lives, these rioters, of so many people. So... The police need to get a handle on this immediately. Now, you have them in L.A. L.A., they're trained with the police. New York, they're trained. But what happened in Minneapolis, they, they really have a work to do there. Well, and you said it. You know, they, they sort of opened the door for it by, by announcing a curfew and then not enforcing it. Do you believe that that police department is capable? Does it have the numbers to enforce a curfew? Could it have nipped this in the bud, if you will? Sure they could have, with proper planning. There was no planning as far as I could see. Every police agency has mutual aid programs set up. You have a strategic and tactical planning by interacting with your state troopers, with the National Guard. There was no planning, none at all. It was just pick up the phone, let's call the guard in, and let's make it look like we're going to do something. I don't right. blame the street cops. They are probably so frustrated, Rick. They want to go in there and do their job, but the political leadership failed the people. Well, well, that's the thing. I mean, you, you did have the National Guard called in. They had two nights of this already and another day to prepare for it, presumably. And you do have multiple agencies on the ground there in Minneapolis. Uh, what happened? What went wrong? What went wrong was that there were idle threats. What went wrong is that the political will to solve this problem by getting the police in there and making arrests uh, uh, and, and, and getting uh, uh, this thing under control it's simply there was no political will to do that. Now, if their strategy was, well, we'll back off and maybe the riders will calm down, it, it not only failed miserably for Minneapolis, but as we yeah. said earlier, it was a signal to people, rioters all over this country. And we're seeing there, uh, a sad story being told tonight. Yeah, no question. There's been some finger pointing at City Hall. The mayor has uh, said a number of things um, in support of the demonstrators and perhaps not enough uh, to... Uh, allow his officers to keep the streets calm? Well, you know, anyone in a political position uh, has to be neutral, no matter what their feelings are, because uh, you're absolutely right. Uh, if they favor one side or the other, they're emboldening the side that they're not favoring. So they need to have a very balanced approach towards this. And, and the way they need to do it as they move forward is to, and, and I've advocated this for years, Community policing programs need to be set up in these cities. You've got to get the clergy involved. You set up partnerships between the police and the people. And you know what? Something like this just may not happen. It's just it's got to be so disturbing for you as it is for for most Americans to see this kind of chaos and mayhem in our major cities. I think we have video from Phoenix tonight where there was another officer involved shooting and 
uh, some major demonstrations there. We have demonstrations uh, in Washington state and across uh, the state of California as well, San Jose. They, they marched on the, on the Golden Gate Bridge and shut down a, another major highway there, and they were out on the streets of Los Angeles today and tonight. Uh, it is a, a nationwide situation of demonstrations, not all of them violent, but well, that's, uh, many of that's them true. are. That's true, Rick, but, but we also need to get a message, especially to young people, that the police are not our enemy. They are not anyone's enemy. Bad apples, yes, they have to be dealt with, and they have to be brought to justice, but the police are simply not our enemy, and we need to pray for them, and we need to help them by being obedient to the laws. Well, what strikes me, Steve, is that they, they arrested the officer Friday who was involved, who had his knee uh, on the neck of George Floyd. They arrested him and charged him with second- and third-degree manslaughter. So uh, he's in custody now, and yet you have all of these significant demonstrations and and in many of cases they're 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 looting stores and setting them on fire even after the officer was arrested well to your point these rioters are not there because of uh what happened there in minneapolis uh, the, between this uh, police officer and mr floyd they're not there uh, uh to pay tribute to mr floyd they're there for their own agenda and that's to commit robberies that's to commit mayhem that's to terrorize people so uh, it goes to the point of what I believe the Floyd, Floyd family said. They want calm. They want peace. And we should do that. These people should be dealt with. When I'm talking about these people, the rioters, they should be yeah. dealt with and they should be charged and they should be put in jail. Yeah. Well, as you clearly point out, uh, idle threats, if you don't back them up, uh, these guys are going to march all over it. And uh, it seems clear that that's what's happening in Minneapolis. And now we're looking at live pictures in Oakland. And... I, I'm not sure where we go from here. I, you know, the, the, the L.A. Uh, PD warned people in Los Angeles to stay off the streets tonight, to avoid the freeways and the, and the side streets, surface streets, because of the potential for clashes with demonstrators. What do you tell someone sitting at home who might have to make a run to the store? What do you tell people who may need to go out for work or something else and run into one of these situations? Well, 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 Rick, uh, look, your reporters were out there tonight putting their lives on the line. I'll tell you, it was pretty, pretty unnerving to see your reporters there. And, and I was talking to my wife saying, these, these poor reporters, they, they may get shot. They may get uh, beaten. Uh, uh, so what do we tell them? We tell them, look, uh, just, just be as safe as you can. But in the best interest of your own safety at this moment, you can't go out there until we take control of the streets. And I hope to God, Rick, I hope to God that we don't start seeing people die, cops die, innocent people die, because we may see not just cops on the streets, maybe we may see military on the streets. Never before have we seen that in this nation. Steve Rogers, retired lieutenant detective for the Nutley, New Jersey Police Department. We appreciate your time tonight, Steve. We are going to continue with our live coverage of...